What a first weekend of rugby. Absolutely gutted for the Welsh against South Africa. Really thought they deserved to win that. And Sam Warburton was immense. What did I say last week? Anyway, we were in Dunedin for the England-Argentina match and we spoke to people after the game to see what they thought. So I'm here with Jim, complete with his own Guinness jersey. Uh, tell me about the England game the other weekend. How did, you, uh, how did you think it went? Well, as Martin Johnson would say, it's better to win ugly than not win at all. And I would say that it was a, an ugly win. What <laughs> think about Johnny Wilkinson missing so many kicks? Bad day at the office. You never, uh, when did he last have figures like that? We're on our way to Queenstown now, where the England team are based and a lot of the Home Nations fans are converging. We're in Queenstown this week between the matches. Picked up tour buddies, uh, complete in colourful knitwear, excused only by the fact that we're going to play golf. Hi, I'm Stuart. Hi, I'm Justin. We're following the England team wherever they go, and this week that means it's adrenaline sports, bungee jumping and jet boating. So we're just doing a weigh in for the uh, bungee, this is Stu on the scales. Uh, he said he was under 90 uh, earlier. So let's just see the number on there. 103. The bigger the dive, the better the ride dive, okay? Chris Ashton swallow dive. Yeah. Okay. And it's time for more golf, but all we're talking about is rugby. What are your thoughts on uh, the Australia Ireland game this weekend? A month or so ago, I'd have said Ireland are in with a really good chance of beating Australia. Now, not so sure after the August they had. I can't see Australia running ahead of it. I think Ireland will put up a fight. Um, it'll be very close to the end. Potentially, Australia may win. Mm. Our foreign players have to step up as well. Like we have a couple of big game players, Brian O'Driscoll, Sean O'Brien, Rob Carney. If these guys need to perform. So we're off back to Dunedin to get ourselves ready for the next weekend of rugby. Let us know your thoughts and keep in touch.